today I have a fun DIY to show you. That's going to be on my crystal shoes that I made for my wedding. I was inspired by the Christian Louboutin daffodil um, crystal heels but of course I didn't want to spend that much money on them. And even if you buy these shoes non-designer they're still like three or four hundred bucks. Um, mine cost me thirty five dollars and what you'll need for this is of course the crystals. I bought mine in three different sizes in size five millimeter, four millimeter and three millimeter and these are not the Swarovski crystals. I did not want to spend that kind of money on them especially if I'm only wearing them one day. I bought mine off eBay and I will link the seller down below. You're also also going to need um, a pair of shoes of course. I did not go out and buy my shoes. I just used a pair that I wasn't really wearing or I just didn't really like anymore. If you have to go buy a pair then just I would check like a thrift store or something like that so you don't have to spend a lot of money on them. You're also going to need some red paint if you want to make the bottoms red like I did. I do not recommend the paint that I mentioned in the video. I actually recommend just getting like an acrylic paint from Michaels or something. And then you're going to need some tape and a q-tip. Also stick around for the end of the video. I do want to share some channels with you guys that I've really been loving. If you guys want to see how I made these shoes, then just keep watching. Okay, so what you'll need is some paint. It's called Tester. I got this for $1.59 at Hobby Lobby in the color red. I made sure to not get the flat paint. I got the um, just a regular one so it leaves like a shiny finish. A packet of these, I believe it came with 10 for $2 at Hobby Lobby. I also got a paintbrush, a little skinny one, and of course, masking tape. I um, taped off my shoe everywhere so it did not get on the suede part of the shoe where I'll be putting the rhinestones. I found just putting this directly on my paintbrush works the best. I just start brushing it on. You don't really have to worry about it looking really neat right now. We're just kind of getting a base coat. Once you have your base coat everywhere, you're just going to go ahead and go back over it with a second coat. And I'm going to use this small brush this time. I don't even care about this part because you step on this right here anyway. So as long as it's red, it doesn't really matter. You're going to mess it up anyway when you're walking on them. So you just want to focus on this part right here. Now I'm just going to let these dry for like 24 hours just so they're completely um, dry and don't, you know, get your floor red. I have my glue and this glue kind of always oozes out on its own so I'm just going to scoop it up with a uh, q-tip. I suggest working in small areas at a time because um, the glue does dry fairly fast. And then I go ahead and take my toothpick and just go in and grab any whatever. I'm not doing any specific pattern or order. I'm just kind of grabbing whichever one and sticking it on there. I'm just going to kind of start here and kind of outline the shoe first and then start filling it in. Okay, so after I completed the whole pump of the shoe right here, I went ahead and started outlining the shoe. Just so I have that kind of all even and it's not all like jagged. And then I'm just going to work on filling the inside. And I'm not doing it in any specific order. I'm just taking them by random. I have three different sizes of rhinestones. So I'm just taking each size one by one. And just kind of placing them whenever, wherever.
about three channels that I've really been loving lately. I think it's important to share like your favorite channels because the beauty community is so huge and a lot of channels aren't really found or some are found. I personally love finding new channels and being recommended channels so I hope you guys do too. The first channel I want to talk about is my friend Carly. Her screen name or her YouTube name is Miss Car Car Humber. I'll link her right here as well as in the down bar so you guys can go check her out. I remember when I first came across her channel I was like immediately loving it. She does so many makeup tutorials and she's so so gorgeous. So definitely go check out her channel. The second girl I want to talk about is Sarah. Her name on YouTube is East Coast Barbie and I'll link her right here so you guys can go check her out. I met her through Bellamy Hair. We both do like the Bellamy Hair Fashionista stuff. So she is super gorgeous. She's just like a little Barbie doll and her hair is long and blonde and she's tan and she loves shopping. She does a lot of shopping. So I especially love her haul videos. And the last girl I want to talk about is my newest friend. Friend, Imani and her YouTube name is Dollface Beauty X. If you guys are not already subscribed to her, which you probably are, you definitely need to go check out her channel. And um, you can also find her, I think, under Asian Purette. That was her last username. So I'll link both down below so you guys are able to find her. We just started talking not that long ago, and we're literally already hitting it off. We have so much in common. So I know that if you guys love my channel, you're definitely gonna love her channel. She has like the most flawless skin ever and her hair is so shiny. I love it. Definitely go check her out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to leave any comments, questions, and of course video requests down below and don't forget to subscribe. I hope this DIY helped you. If you guys did try it, please try to tag me on Instagram or something so I can see your pictures. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.